when I got up here, but I looked down and I just have a little crumb left in there. So if I get parched, pardon me. Okay, this is always a good one. So, um, does anybody else pick their nose so deep that they get gagged? <laughs> what? Is that just me? Like every now and then I'll just get like something and well, I don't know why that is. Gag. <laughs> I don't know why. There's something wrong with my nostrils or something. Then that same thing, I had a friend that um, he would eat food and it, I would we'd go out to eat from time to time and he would, as he's forking up his food, way before his food was ready, on his fork, he would open his mouth. A very strange, not becoming thing, but as he's, he'd stare at his food and just fork it up and uh, uh, and his mouth would be open way earlier than the fork was even full. Not a, not a very desirable thing. And um, so I've always caught them, um, since I've noticed that about them, I've caught them a premature mouth opener. <laughs> I don't know if there's a term for that. I don't know if like, it's kind of like scratching a fork on a plate. But you know, some people hear things or see things. I just, I guess I saw that he opened his mouth way too early. You know, the process of that, I come to find out after kind of picking on him mildly and joking about it here on stage. Um, come to find out, I actually have pulled my dick out way before the bathroom. For sure. Yeah. Like I'll just be in the living room, the dining room, I'll just pull, get fluff it all up, get ready for the bathroom, some head over. I guess I kind of have that kind of issue as well. Not long ago, I think it's just instinctual. When you put your spoon in a jelly jar. Or the mustard, or the mayonnaise jar, or whatever. Um, it's just instinct to just kind of, you know, after you get it, you bang it on the side of the bowl, or whatever you do, that you lick it. You just clean it off, right? Fed five. Oh, I did that with a, a garlic spoon as I was garlic. <laughs> it was terrible. I mean, that's not a good thing at all. Something I do find about uh, the youth. Besides the fact that I already have this, uh, I, I think that, uh, for instance, I think there's going to be seat belts on boats pretty soon, right? I think that we're just going to have on a boat, on the, on the pontoon, you're going to have to buckle up, which is interesting. Uh, it kind of falls into the same realm. I saw one of those three-wheel cars, right? So it's a, a three-wheel car, it's got two big fat, two wheels in the front, and then one big fat wheel in the back. But it's got a steering wheel, you know, you sit in it. You got two people side by side, there's a stereo. Um, you know, you got seat belts, they go over you. But I saw um, somebody driving a car, as far as I was concerned, wearing a helmet, right? And that just, I just laughed and giggled and kind of gave me the idea of seatbelts and in boats. And in the process, I made a prediction, and I'm going to stick to it. 2054, I don't know how that number came up, but 2054, Boston Marathon. Helmets, mandatory. Can't run this Boston Marathon without a helmet. It's just how it is. It's for your protection. I'm trying to save you. Anybody ever? Now this is getting a little personal. Maybe we want to turn that camera off. Um, I didn't shower for a few days. I, who knows what it was? Something I didn't. I didn't shower for a few days for whatever reason. And I noticed throughout the progress and the progression of, of, you know going to the bathroom and taking my pants off, that it went through this full circle of, like, oh, that's my balls smell disgusting. Oh, my God, I should shower, right? It went through this whole phase of, like, Jesus, my God, I'm just, 
every time I went to the bathroom, it was just like, oh, God, I can smell myself from up here. Holy shit. <laughs> then I went to the past that phase <laughs> from gross to kind of like, hmm, that kind of smells pretty good. <laughs> like, wow, is that, is that me? Wow, I smell. That's new. I don't think I've ever smelled that one on me before. Very interesting. Um, something I love about the youth, another thing I love about the youth is that, you know, for our days, for back in the day, um, you know, when porn first came out, because I was around for that. I was around when porn, I don't want to say first came out, but when it came out on the internet, that was a whole new thing. It was new. That was, that was, it was new. And it was forbidden. Right? That was bad. You get caught with porn, you're fucked. Right? You're doomed. Your life is garbage. Everything is bad. Nothing good in the 1900s was good <laughs> if you were found looking at, staring at, had some on you. I don't know on you. But you had, if you were downloading or looking at porn, terrible. Nothing good about that at all. But something I love about the youth is now that you can, you can just ask, like, hey, what, uh, you know, what porn site do you go to now? What's your, what's your jam? What's a good one? Kind of lost. Uh, you know, what are you into these days? So it's funny to me. Thanks again. My name is Matt.